cellar. Swinging and swing with trail and hay is the old nut cellar. Come first, stop each pocket your nuts. Tell me where you want, young fella. The funniest thing you ever heard is to hear her calling. Trail so popped down to the brim, but not a chance of falling. I never seen a thin one yet. They always father's hell. I believe at night when they get home. Very last few ones and soft this thing. Fried biscuit. Uh -huh. And you know some people at home say salt biscuit, fried biscuit, you can fry biscuits. This is Bajan Biddle. I'm Eric Lewis, along with celebrity and award winning chef Peter Eady. Uh -huh. yes. And today we're talking about biscuits. Correct. Yeah, what are we doing here, Chef? We're doing Eclipse to be exact. Uh -huh. Eclipse. Well, this is the ones we get here now. Yeah, the hard biscuits. But, but you, but, not enough to say hard now. It uh -huh. used to be hard biscuits. Yeah. You remember years ago, the biscuits, they used to come in like four. Right. And it used to be really hard. Yeah, yeah. The, which was really great for what we're doing here. Mm. These now, you got to be a little more careful because uh -huh. they're a little softer now. A little softer, Right? Yeah. They're, they're a little softer, so we, you got to be a little more careful. But the product comes out just as good mm. once you do it correctly. We start in here with um, liquid. Oh. You see what you have here, right? I've got some pigtail or salt. Pigtail salt. down mm -hmm. there. You can put salt. If you don't like, if you don't like pork, you can do um, pigtail. Salt beef. Mm -hmm. Have that inside there, but well enough. Because what we can do is we can serve these salt biscuits on top of it because it's too full. It's too full. Uh -huh. Right. Good. Right. 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 Good rainy weather food here. Or any, or could be any weather. Uh -huh. So here I have here some a combination of um, sweet potatoes, yeah. squash, okay. harder vegetables, right? Uh -huh. um, and I like uh, onion uh -huh. and garlic, of course. Yeah. I, and this, this time I put in the garlic, like. Oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, so good. And carrots in there. Right. So you put them in first. Mm -hmm. All right, and they, and they like cabbage in mind, so you put cabbage. It used to be cabbage bush, but you don't see that fella now neither. No, you don't see that. Right? But right. it used to be cabbage bush, so you put in there. Make, make, uh, and you, I you, 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 you use my vegetables if you feel like Yeah, like any hard vegetables. If you want some breadfruit. If you got that, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect. Edels, anything, so right, you can also put some dumplings in there as well, too. Yeah. Right? So how you do this now, though, you put these on to cook. So I get this cooking up. And you're going to let them come to a boil, and you, what you do is you can cook these here halfway through. Halfway through. Right? right. But you get the like halfway through, or maybe three, but in this case, three quarters. Three quarters, because these it's a, little, a, little, a little softer. Right. So right. three quarters, through, you can put these down, and you just uh -huh. steam them on top. How you do this now, though, if you look at this, you will see. We, you, when you, what you do is you put, like, every layer. You soak them a little bit, just soak, a little bit of water, um, season, salt, salt, salt water, so salt, salt and water. pepper. Uh -huh. Soak them a little bit, so you see they're softer now, yeah. ish. And every layer, you put your herbs in between. Mm -hmm. No, you know you should put a, you should put like a slice of butter as well. Yeah. Right in between as well. I could do that with it. if you want to do that too. You could just look now. We could put like a little bit of butter in between every one. That's like by the biscuits. So you're going to make a sandwich with with, with the biscuits, exactly. but you're putting some your exactly. herbs and, and inside in between. Inside right? it, so you see all the herbs inside there? Uh -huh. Pepper. We're going to chop fresh chopped herbs and pepper and of course some my, my diced peppers in there. Uh -huh. Again, you could use any any of the herbs you like. A biscuit but sandwich. One. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Right. So you put, you do that after you soak them. Uh -huh. You know, not too soft not because too soft. It, they can break up fast if you do that. These biscuits seem strong like they used to be. But some people ask, so why soak when you're already putting them in water that can steam them and everything? Right. 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 Uh -huh. That's a good question because you, you know if you put them in here raw like that, uh -huh. they can cook. Yeah. But they can take a lot longer. A lot longer. And you f don't forget, you still got to deal with the potatoes and stuff. You got to get them off overcooked there. Okay. Good. Right. So you just give it a little bit of head start, with a little bit of soaking. If you realize they're still holding together, so yeah, they're yes. like. Uh -huh. They're like soaked to death. Yeah. As you hope people tell you. So I can put a little butter in between. These butter now that like, you get like butter biscuits now as well too. This yeah, is the yeah. big thing we've been growing up to, right? So you've got some pepper down inside there. Of course you've got pepper inside. So you've got uh -huh. the scotch bonnet inside there. You have yeah. to do that, mm -hmm. right? So you gotta season these. Because really and truly, but on its own, biscuit really ain't got a lot of flavor. Right. And the liquid I soaked them in had a little bit of salt. So I got a little bit of salt going okay. in there as well too, right? right. Salt in, in, inside there as well. So when you got your, your, your steamed vegetables, you're getting ready for your salt biscuits. You now we can do the fried biscuits as well. Oh uh -huh. Right? right, so for the fried biscuits, now the same thing. You sort the biscuits. Sort them. You can always sort them again. See, uh -huh. this one doing now. You got this here. Let's break this a little bit. Oh, uh -huh. look at that. See, right? And what I do here after I soak them, I put in my herbs as well. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. take them out, put them in, and then get some fresh herbs and put them in there as well. Yeah. Just mix them with the fresh herbs. So this is just a matter of getting your flavors going from early. And that's the thing about, 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 good, about good food. For, good for food to be good, you got to flavor every flavor layer. Flavor everything. Got every layer. Sure you got to yeah, flavor, 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 flavor every, uh, everything. Yeah. Right. Good. So for the salt biscuits now. You got some margarine going on there. You got some, some margarine. Right. You can use any fat. If you want to put butter in here, you could put butter as well. If you want to use olive oil, olive oil. you could use that too, if you're so inclined. Right? And you don't let it here burn. No, you ain't going to burn. Just burn. Just get, we call it moussey. You see that? Right, yeah. That moussey stage. That's what we want right there. Okay, want to see that happens? Then you can put in your veg, your, veg, your aromatics now. Uh-huh. So you're going with some 
this sweet pepper, bell peppers. Okay. So There's bell peppers, some onions. Some onions. Uh -huh. Put this in first. Right? Smells nice and ready, man. Oh, hell yeah. Right? Smell, yeah, yeah. So then we can put in those some, the, some, again, Beijing cooking was always all about herbs. Always. Everything is about herbs. Yeah. Right? It, you know, you made this in tea one thing, right? Uh -huh. this, 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 this is actually marjoram. Uh -huh. I had to drink, well, when you something wrong with you, marjoram tea. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is it well, I would say, you would say, no, 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 my, my grandmother doing this, no, she got some broadleaf thyme now. Broadleaf thyme, correct. Thang, no, broadleaf thyme, yeah, right, right, right. When you right. smell broadleaf thyme, you're very correct, gone, man. Correct, yeah. broadleaf thyme, maybe some, broadleaf. some beers in here, yeah. put her, but it's all about her because they always had this. Uh -huh. So they use this in everything, and this really, this really, root. this is why, by the way, Belgian food always tastes so different from any other food all the place. Don't care where you go. And you know, back in the day, everybody used to go to the kitchen garden outside of the course. house and everything planted. So you always had your chives, you always had your little bed time and different things growing. So of course. Let me go back to the NBA school, Peter. Well, we're getting, we're getting forced back there, yeah, right? We like it or not. Yeah. COVID exposed a lot Ready of Whether like it or not, we got to do it. Yes, yeah. you're right, Eric. Yeah. So it's a little, some hot peppers. Huh? Now, for this to cook too properly, now we see it's it starting to get the aroma and everything going there. Mm -hmm. You can soften it. I wish you all could smell this here though. It yes. smells really, really nice. You know what I mean? And digest yeah. the herbs. Yeah. So you can soften it up a little bit more because you're going to put in the biscuits now, right? Uh -huh. No, you don't put it too much water though mm -hmm. because you want it to be soft and soppy. Yeah. Okay? You still want it very crispy. So you just put that in there now. Now that I got that going, mm -hmm. and then we can go in with this. Mm-hmm. Right? See rocks coming up, buddy. Right? Right? Just toss it around. So you, you, this you, you, is you, a good do this, you do this here for how long now? You, you, you try to get color on this. You just it, just brown it up here. Just brown it. Just brown it. Yeah, this is very forgiving as well. Uh -huh. This is really forgiving. And again, at this point, you can make it now from here as soft as you soft want. Soft as you want it. Right? As soft as you want it. While that going on now, we can come back here. Oh, yes. Shall we, ho shall we look in here? Uh -huh. Nicer. Uh -huh. So we can make sure we get it down as low as we can. Right and really, the vegetables are still look firm and nice. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. No, you, 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 you steam in all them together, yeah. right? And everything still look firm and good. So it's time now for me to use this. The biscuit sandwiches. Yes, the biscuit sandwiches. You call it that, yeah. And we can want this to steam through now, so you can just sit them on top. On top. Right? Sit them on top. And if you right. have some, some dumplings yeah. in there too. You dumplings would be perfect. Perfect. I have, but dumplings would be perfect. Oh, nice. oh, what kind of sauce do we, we, we work with this here though? You, with this, you could do salt, fish sauce. Uh -huh. We could make chicken. You could anything, any sauce. Because you got the, you can serve with this, the vegetables, uh -huh. the steamed vegetables, and the biscuits together. Okay, so you, you, you can work anything. Any the, sauce a, you a, want, but there's a, a, a stew, anything. A stew, anything. anything, right? And now we can just cover it down and leave that. Just cover it down. You want the steam now in there. The, what you have here now yeah. is the steam that generated from the liquid in there. Uh -huh. Then come up in here and cook them biscuits. Right. Got that? Right, so you may need to pay some more time to put some more time to your, um, the, the fry fry biscuits. Yeah, fry biscuits, no. I just, I just like my fry crispy. Yeah. Right, crispy. Right. Again, you determine at this point how soft you want them. There's a, there's a perfect side. This is a perfect side dish. Uh, Peter, you, you remember back in the day, you know, you, you would get some sieg now with this here, though. Oh, yeah. Some sieg. Oh, yeah, you, you know what you think. I mean, know what you think, man. You would get some sieg now. Sieg. Fry sieg next door to this here. Exactly. And then if I had a piece of pear now, I've got my pear. Cheese or burgers. Pear, listen, listen, listen. Some pear and some sieg now, and they go home. Eric, behave yourself. And a long glass of lemon here. Eric, behave yourself. Cold, cold, cold. That's good stuff. Yeah, that is the real Belgian middle. Right there, you're talking about. Belgian middle. That's Belgian middle. See that? And of course, you can go to the NCF website, right? Correct. Correct. All the recipes are on the NCF website, yeah. right? Good. So all we're waiting for now is a couple of minutes. So she's trying to yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. She's starting. She's starting to she's starting look there. Swell up a little Swell bit. Swell exactly. Uh -huh. Swell And she's just absorbing all the steam that come up from down there. She's sucking in there. Now. Yeah. She was get, and she the, get some of the flavors too coming fla up. Exactly. Uh -huh. And also know the flavors that you have inside from the herbs and stuff like that. And uh -huh. they start to explode inside there. Uh -huh. And when you finish, sit down. Table, make sure your shoes off or you'll be twiddling your toes when you're eating. Oh my god. Right? So imagine. Make sure your shoes off. So, so while this is simmering away, now just making the, make the biscuits in there, get the steam to make them flap up and cook. Yes, so yeah, uh -huh. We can come now and just finish it. Our biscuits here, finish sea rocks, finish it. Right, fried biscuits. Fried biscuits, finish it. Already yeah. got some nice herbs and all your herbs. Some pepper, a little sauce, and some butter and stuff. Correct. Right? So right? Should be well flavored. And, and, and some scotch bonnet, man. It's just, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, and look at that. Look, see that? Uh -huh. This was a meal for me. Mm -hmm. going up. Just to get this sometimes with corned beef, fried corned beef, right? Yeah, yeah. Fried corned beef. But you can serve this up with anything. 
and, it, and, and this is something a lot different to oh, yeah. what you're accustomed to eating every day. Yeah. You know? And very much ours. And, and very much Bajan. Yeah, very, very much ours. Yeah. Probably steamed fish on top of this here too. Anything like steamed yeah. fish on top of the grape yeah. sauce going through something. Oh. Yeah. Uh, some, some fry melts, some nuts. Um, now the steamed fish. Look at that, Look at that now. Yeah. See how this body biscuit still swell up? Swell up, but they may mash it. No, they can't mash it. They may mash it. Just swell up, not mash it. Right? Uh -huh. That ain't good cooking. So we can do this. And the, and the vegetables finished now too, see? Remember you see all the root vegetables and everything at the bottom? Uh -huh. They will all be finished cooked by now. Timing is everything in this. That's why you put in all your root vegetables, everything together. Just bring it to a the boil, then bring mm -hmm. it out to the steam. Yeah. Halfway through the process, in, the, in these new biscuits stage, two thirds of the way through the process, put on these biscuits. Right. Right? You see, you got a piece of this? You got a piece of this salt meat inside there as well too? Uh -huh. So you're getting some everything in there. And if you really think you can just come and put thing, put four some of your liquid on top. Yeah. Might you remember this? I don't understand how you guys don't remember this used to be a meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a lot on your plate? You know, I, 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 I enough you there. This is enough for me. For the time being. For the time, <laughs> <laughs> time being. Okay, so that is that one there that you could go and, and dig into. Mm -hmm. and, and so you got some here. This one with salt meat. As I said, you can put salt fish, you can put chicken, you can put anything you eat to food with. Right? Mm, 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 could do that could as do well. It. Those could go in there as well. Yeah. Anything. You're the chef. Anything you, you want to put in there, you can. You, you, put, you put in there, sir. Right. So right. it was biscuits today. Salt biscuit, mm -hmm. fried biscuits. All beer gin bitter. Exactly. Do oh, yours, sorry. and let me know how yours come out. Mm -hmm. Take back in here. Lock my hair, love. Mm -hmm. Swinging and swing with trail and hay is the old nut cellar. Comfort, coffee, spaghetti nuts. Tell me where you want, young fella. Funniest thing you ever heard is to hear her calling. Trey so popped down to the brim, but not a chance to fall in. I never seen a thin one yet, they always fought as hell. I believe at night when they get home, they don't eat what they don't sell. The next thing you should stop and listen, this is what they say. It's obvious and not to extra strong, so call it, darling. 